So a lot of people have asked, what are the best varieties of mango to plant in small spaces? Fortunately, we have a lot of options. So the first one to mention is Julie. Julie is a dwarf tree, the smallest variety I know about, and it's a very popular flavor. The tree, this tree is about 20 years old, and it stays small. It tends to grow a little laterally, but if you trim things regularly, you can make it whatever shape you want. The fruit, as I say, are very popular, but in Florida, it is not a reliable producer. It flowers enthusiastically, but doesn't set much fruit. It definitely helps to have another variety of mango near it. It likes to use another uh, tree's pollen. But consider Julie, it's the ultimate for a very small space. So Julie's a great variety for a small space, but we have other varieties to look at too. Let's go look at those. So this is Namdak Mai number four. It's another great variety for a small space. This tree, I don't think we've pruned at all. Keeping it small is not really important for us here, but you can keep it very small. Namdak Mai, the, the original variety, is a crazy popular fruit. It's reliable and productive. The fruit are about a pound and a half to two pounds and fiberless have a very sweet flavor. In fact, Namdak Mai translates to water of flower or nectar. So Namdak Mai number four, even though it can be kept very small, produces the same size fruit as the original Namdak Mai. So it's a great choice for a small area. This is Baptiste. It's a variety from Haiti. The fruit are firm and not juicy. It's not a stringy fruit, but it's something that you should try before you plant the tree. Uh, it's a great variety for a small space in that it can be kept much smaller than this. The, the tree branches enthusiastically, sends out lots of branches from places, and then it'll, on its own, will send out more branches in like six inches. If you are monitoring this tree and trimming it back, it can branch even more uh, enthusiastically than this. So anyway, Baptiste, consider it for a small space. This is ice cream, another great variety for a small space. This tree is 18 years old now, and we have trimmed it very few times. It can be kept much smaller than this. Ice cream is a small mango from Trinidad and Tobago, and it is extremely popular. The flavor is just very unique. So consider ice cream for small spaces. So this is Juliet. It's a seedling of Julie, and it's classified as a semi-dwarf tree. Julie is a dwarf tree, and Juliet is semi-dwarf because the pollinating parent was Gary. Gary is a very popular fruit, and the combination of Gary and Julie make a great variety also. Juliet has the, a little bit of the coconut flavor from Gary, and also the flavors of Julie. So Juliet, another great choice for a small area. So this is a Jahangir. It's a dwarf to semi-dwarf tree, and it can be kept very small. The fruit are round and a pound to a little bit more than a pound, green skinned, and the flesh is fiberless and has a traditional Indo-Chinese flavor. So Jahangir is not as well known as many of the other varieties, but it's something to consider for a small space. So this is Dwarf Hawaiian. It's a seedling of Julie. Julie's classified as dwarf, but this is semi-dwarf. So it's gonna be a little bigger it needs a little more attention if you want to keep it really small. We don't give this tree much attention as far as pruning, and so it's about 10 feet tall. It's taken about 12 years to get that size, uh, but the good thing about Dwarf Hawaiian, besides being a very compact growing tree, is that it's 
really reliable and productive. In fact, it can set two or three crops every year and you can have mangoes for like three months and sometimes more. So consider Dwarf Hawaiian for a small space. So here is a short mango hedge. And actually this is about 10 years old. And I have two varieties here, Cogshall and Neelum. And then it's another Cogshall and another Neelum. Cogshall is one of our very popular small uh, varieties. It's a colorful fruit. The fruit can be a pound and a half, usually more like a pound, uh, and no fiber and a very popular flavor. Reliable producer. Neelum is also a popular fruit, very sweet, no fiber, and often it has a second crop that can be ready as late as October. So. Both are great varieties to consider for small spaces. This is Pettigrew. This tree can be maintained as a very small tree and the fruit are popular. It's a fiberless coconut flavored fruit. The main downside of this variety is that it's difficult to tell when to pick the fruit. Once you learn how to do that, you might I think Pettigrew is the perfect mango for your small space. So this is Pickering. Pickering is a semi-dwarf tree, sometimes considered a small tree, but it can be kept very small and it's extremely productive at a very young age. So a very popular tree for small spaces and also container growing. So Fairchild is another variety to consider for a small space. This tree has been in the ground for 18 years and we haven't been trying to keep it small. So this is not a good representation for the size of the tree. If you are going after a small tree, of course you would trim it more often than we have trimmed this one. But Fairchild is an attractive tree and a very popular fruit. The fruit are generally less than a pound uh, no fiber and just a sweet, rich flavor.